Hey, yo. Deo. Deo. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of Scam Alert. If you're new here, I make all types of videos regarding scams, whether it's scam baiting videos where I try to waste as much time of a scammer's time as possible while making it entertaining for you. I also make educational videos where I teach you how different kinds of scams work and what you can do to avoid them. And last but not least, I make parody videos. Sometimes I do skits and sometimes I make rap songs about some of my favorite scam baiters. So if you're new here and you like the information that I'm sharing, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. Also, if you like the information that I'm sharing, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps with YouTube's algorithm to make sure the video gets discovered and that we can reach more people and help them get educated about the different types of scams that are out there. And last but not least, each one teach one. Please make sure you share this with at least one friend or family member so that we can help them get educated and learn how to spot the scams, how to avoid the scams, and how to report the scams. That being said, let's do this. There's a day fast approaching that is bigger than Black Friday and bigger than Cyber Monday. It is Amazon's Prime Day, and it's right around the corner. There are reports that scammers have created thousands upon thousands of websites related to Prime Day to try to mislead people when they're looking to shop on Prime Day. I'm gonna share some of that information with you today so you know what to look out for if you're gonna be doing any shopping on Prime Day. If you wanna shop safely online, specifically if you wanna shop safely during Prime Day, I'm gonna give you some tips that you can use to help protect yourself, your data, and also your money from scammers and other cyber criminals. One of the first things you'll wanna do is make sure that you check the address. Scammers are getting a lot better at making fake websites all the time, which means it's really, really, really important that we pay close attention to the URL that we're on. Check the address. If it does not end in a .com, like an Amazon.com if you're in the US, an Amazon.uk if you're in the UK, or an Amazon.ca if you're in Canada, chances are it is a phishing page and you could end up accidentally sharing your info, like your credit card info and other information on there. So one of the first things you need to do is make sure that you spell it correctly and end it in either .com, .uk, or .ca, or bookmark amazon.com, .ca, or .uk, and just go from your bookmark. Another thing that you wanna make sure is that you are encrypted. Look at the URL bar that you're on right now on your browser it should have a little lock shaped icon next to the site. That basically means that the website that you're on is encrypted and that the passwords or credit card numbers that you share on there are protected from hackers. So if you're not sure if you're on a real Amazon page, look for the icon. Normally, they don't have them and that's a big, big red flag that it's a phishing website. But also to make sure that the site starts with HTTPS make sure you never share more than you need to the only time amazon ever asks you for your birthday is when you're setting up the account it never asks you when you're checking out it will never ask you for your social security number when you're checking out as well so remember that never give online stores more information than you need to you may want to consider creating a stronger password for prime day a while back i did a video called scammers port and hijack your phone and in there, it gives tips on how to create stronger passwords. My suggestion is if you're going to be shopping on Prime Day, it would be important for you to go and create a stronger password just in case there's a data breach. None of your previous passwords are available to them. You can also set up two-factor authentication for your Amazon account to have another layer of protection. I know this one is really hard for a lot of people, but don't use public Wi-Fi. Public networks can be easily hacked and compromised, which means your transactions and passwords could be visible to other people online. And like I said, I know it's really hard for a lot of people, but if you're going to use a Wi-Fi, like a public Wi-Fi, make sure you use a secure VPN to protect yourself. There's that good old saying that if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And the crazy thing is, is that scammers still exist on Amazon itself. So in order to stay safe, because some of them will try to lure you with amazing deals. What you need to do is be skeptical of deals that look excessive. Think of like a 70 inch TV for $8 or 80% off of a new iPad. The best way to stay safe is make sure you stick to your credit card. Debit cards are tied to your bank accounts and if you have your card stolen, 
they could literally drain your entire life savings so be very very careful at least credit cards offer a little bit more protection because they have limits that will stop hackers from getting too far and if you can help it use a secure payment service like paypal for your prime day transactions because it works perfectly with amazon make sure you watch out for fake texts over the course of prime day you might get a message on your cell phone that says that there's been an error processing one of your orders and if you tap the link and enter your credit card information the scammer has been able to fish that information out of you so don't click on links that you do not recognize you should also ignore texts related to amazon and prime day while the event is going on if there is an actual payment issue with your order Amazon will email you. And speaking of emails, ignore fake delivery emails and phone calls. Sometimes what happens is there's a fake shipping notification that comes to you by email and they'll usually tell you that your order can't be delivered or that uh, you need to confirm your identity to get that package. So this is also coming by phone and there's a pre-recorded call that the Better Business Bureau is saying that is circulating that claims that there's a problem with your Amazon account. Some versions mention a failed delivery while others talk about a fraudulent charge. So you won't get phone calls or emails from shipping services if there's a delivery issue. If you happen to get one of these and you want peace of mind, ignore the message and give Amazon a call. Uh, the company is in close contact with carriers and may have an answer for you. How many times have you heard someone say, I don't know, Google it. On Prime Day, don't go looking for help on Google. Remember that some of these scammers pay Google to boost their ads and so if you try to get a hold of someone you're most likely going to get the tech support Amazon scam. Just be very very wary of that because we know that the way that they use to trick people into handing over their money. If you need to please visit Amazon support page for assistance. You can get any information that you need from them. If you stay cautious and skeptical when you do your online shopping, you should have no problems with hackers and cyber criminals. But that being said, you'll still want to keep an eye out for fake reviews because they can trick you into buying something that you don't want and it doesn't count as fraud to Amazon. And that's going to wrap up this episode of Scam Alert, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you or anyone you know does any type of shopping on Amazon, especially during Amazon Prime Day, please make sure you share this information with them. Remember, each one, teach one. The more that we can empower people to learn about different kinds of scams, especially these ones, because right now people are at home, they're, they're looking to do some shopping online and Amazon Prime Day is prime for scammers to be able to fish people and to do people and scam them out of money. Please make sure you share this with someone that you love and care about. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.